Hi, welcome to part three series on how to deploy Azure Data Platform end to end with Azure DevOps Pipeline. In today's video, which is part three, is how we deploy Azure infrastructure with ARM template. What we're going to do is we are going to focus on just this part here at the top where we're going to use Azure DevOps Pipeline uh, with ARM template to deploy a resource group and a storage account as a blob storage. The reason why we're doing this is because we're gonna need to store a Terraform state file, which is gonna be used by Terraform to uh, remember the last position, the last uh, state of the infrastructure deployment. And we're gonna keep that Terraform state file in a blob storage. Just a quick recap before we actually go to the demo. Um, there are some prerequisites if you want to follow along. Uh, make sure you check out my uh, part one and two videos if you haven't. And and quickly to recap, we really need to have uh, all this in place in order to follow along. That is DevOps organization, project, and uh, appropriate DevOps license. You need to have the DevOps extension installed. Uh, which is uh, these two. And you need to submit this Azure DevOps parallelism request form, which I will share the link down in the description uh, below. And you need to have some understanding of the basic of the DevOps repo. And I will use Visual Studio Code to demonstrate and show the code. And lastly, I will share all the codes in my GitHub. So also check out my description below for the codes. Let's dive into the demo. This is my issue portal in my resource group screen. And as you can see, I have nothing. And in my issue DevOps, this is my project. And I'm just going to show you around briefly before we start building the, um, the resources. So firstly, I want to show you that I have already a repository called Learn DevOps with some pipelines and some uh, codes here that is going to be used by the pipeline to deploy. When I say the pipeline, I mean these YAML files here. So essentially, this is the pipeline, the the pipeline made up made up of YAML codes that's going to be used to deploy. And in this video, I'm just going to deploy ARM templates, which is going to be in here, the platform ARM templates resource group and storage account. Now, just so you know, if you have uh, you're going to follow along if you want to get grab this code, you can go to my GitHub, which I shared the link down below. You can see this is my uh, GitHub and you can get it straight away. It's under yeah the same kind of name, pipelines and platform. And if you got no uh, repository under inside DevOps, you, you can do is you can click uh, here and you can click import repository. You want to choose kit as your type and you can you want to find the url to clone and in here you want to click that and then you want to pick that link to clone and just kind of name it what you want the the new azure devops repo to be i already got one so i'm not going to redo that part okay now, just briefly on what this YAML is about, essentially the first bit here, this is the automated trigger, whether we want to trigger this pipeline automatically after a, a change or commit or pull request on the branch, I'm in main branch, I'm going to set that to none, so I'm going to trigger it manually. This one is about the Microsoft hosted agent that we're going to use, this is our Going to use Windows um, Azure DevOps agent. Stages is effectively is uh, is is environment. So we have Dev environment here. So I just call it Dev. I'm going to use some variables from variable group called ARM, which I'll show you in here. It's under pipelines library, and also the jobs. So this is what we're doing. Essentially, we're going to use a new environment in DevOps called ARM. Well, I'll show you the details of the letter and the steps are there are two steps. Essentially, we're going to create a resource group and we're going to create a storage account as a blob storage. And these, these, this is the, uh, the kind of the ARM template deployment task in DevOps pipeline. 
And you can see all these details are parameterized at the moment, the subscription ID, location, and the uh, resource group location and the name, which is uh, which overrides from the ARM template, the ARM partable group. The, the file itself, as you can see, is looking at the platform ARM templates folder, which is under here, here, and you can find it all in here. We're not going to cover ARM templates in this video. Uh, there's probably a separate one if you want. Uh, and yeah, and for the ARM variable group here, you want to, if you want to see, you go to pipelines and library. I already have a bunch of variable groups. If you haven't got one, please create a new one. It's very easy and straightforward. And what I have here is for the arm, I have this one here called, yeah, I call it arm. And then the, I have, I have this about five variables that I set. You can just add it yourself. Pause this video if you want to uh, take notes of this. You do need to create all of this. Uh, you can probably customize the uh, the name of the container, and the resource group, and the storage account. Uh, but subscription ID, this should follow your subscription ID. And by the way, the storage account name needs to be all in lowercase and no special characters whatsoever, because that's the limitation or the requirement from Azure. Okay. Pause this video if you want to uh, follow and reuse these values. If I go back to my repos, and effectively, that's all we need. And what we need to do now is go to pipelines and pipelines here. Now in pipelines, we want to create pipeline. Just delete that one. And we're going to pick Azure DevOps, Azure Repos Git. Click the repo that contains that pipeline and platform folder. This is mine. And you want to use the existing one because we've got a YAML pipeline. YAML file already. If you want to start from scratch, you can pick that one. Pick that one, and I'm just going to stick with my main branch. And pick that one here. All right, that's the YAML file we've got, and we're just going to save it for now. And before uh, we run it, uh, we want to click Edit, or yeah, we want to click Edit first. And inside here, you want to go for more actions here again and click triggers. I want to rename this pipeline. So it's, uh, it's nice to do that. And maybe I'll explain uh, what's this configuration as well. So as you can see, you can also set the uh, continuous integration config in here. But bear in mind that in the YAML file itself, the, at the very top, you see there's a trigger and it's set to none. That will override this value here. If you set it, if you update this, this will be override by that value in the code. So you either want to do it here or in the code. I tend to do it in the code. There's variables here and you want to add the link, the variable group arm, because we're going to use that in this deployment. Remember this value again. And if I click YAML, I can just rename this pipeline. Call it battery R. The default agent pool for YAML is your pipeline. Uh, but again, this is override by the value in the YAML file itself. So that's fine. Now what I want to do is save. Save that one. If I go back to my pipelines. I just want to make sure I see that. I click that and I click run. There's you can set pipeline variables, uh, but there's nothing for us to do. There's only one stage. We only have the dev stage, and there's no additional resource. So I just click run. Now because this is the first time we create a pipeline, uh, you when you refresh in here, it will ask you to well, to grant permission to the environment. So you want to click view, you want to permit that one. It will create a new environment under here, uh, pipeline environments. Now, if we just give a couple of minutes, uh, one, one and a half minute, this should now start running. Uh, I 
hope there you go it start running right now and if you click on it you can actually see what it's trying to do okay so if you want to follow and understand what it's trying to do in detail you can just check individually what it's trying to do but i'm going to skip that one and if i just go back to my pipeline and just wait until this one is complete now the deployment is complete about two minutes and if we go back to my azure portal if i refresh you can see this is my new resource group and i have a blob storage and as you can see if you go to storage explorer preview i now have also a terraform blob containers well blob container called terraform that's it for part three video on how to deploy Azure infrastructure with um, template using DevOps pipeline. And if you are uh, tagging along, thanks very much. Consider a like or subscribe as usual. And now we're heading into part four. I'll see you in the next video.